guys and welcome back to my channel today so to start off this I have been sick for the past like week or so so if I sound a little nasally and like stuffy that's why as you see I am bare faced this is gonna be my first fall tutorial I'm super excited about it I'm honestly not too sure what I'm gonna be doing today I think I really want to do like a dark smoky eye with a dark lip those are my favorite like fall looks to do. Without further ado, I'm just gonna hop right into this video. So I'm just gonna pull my hair back like I usually do. Guys, if you did not know, I am in North Carolina and we are currently expecting Hurricane Florence to hit at some point really soon in the next couple of days, which is really scary actually, so. If there is no videos uploaded for the next few days, that is why. I'm just going to jump right into this tutorial. I'm actually going to start with the eyes just because it is going to be like a dark look and just don't mind this little guy right here. So the palette I'm going to be using in today's video is this one by Crown. I've used this one time before, I believe. This is one that I got in my BoxyCharm. I just feel like this is such a fall-esque palette. It's beautiful. Just priming my eyes here with the AOA Studio Concealer. I've been loving actually using this for eye primer lately. Um... Just because it's a little too light for my face to use it as a concealer for my face right now. So I've been trying to incorporate it in other ways and using it as an eye primer has been working out really well for me. Alright, so now we're just going to hop right into this. So I'm going to be taking my Moda Pro blending brush as I usually do. And I'm going to go into this shade right here. They don't have names. Um, it's just this light taupey color. These are pretty pigmented. Um, like I said when I got this palette, I wasn't too excited about it. It's a really pretty palette, beautiful colors. It's just that these are colors that I kind of already own. But when it comes to fall looks, I really think this is going to be my go-to. So after that, I'm going to go into this color right ooh, this color right here, and I'm just taking the same exact brush that I was using, and I'm just going to put this in the crease as well, maybe a little bit lower, just to kind of add a little bit of dimension. I am going to be putting a shimmer shade on the lid, I think. I'm going to be going into this shade right here, and I'm just taking that on a Luxie brush, and we're just going to kind of put this on the bottom outer edge. But yes, please, please be safe in this weather, you guys. Um, it's not a joke. So next, I'm going to go into this deep color right here. And I'm just taking this on a smaller e.l.f. brush. Um, and this is going to go in the outer corner. Just to really, really deepen that up. But yeah, I'm trying to stay as prepared as I can. I am worried with the apartment that I'm living in. I'm on the bottom floor, so if we flood, I will more than likely be affected by it. But yes, enough about that. I don't know why I went on that tangent about the hurricane, but it's just like the biggest thing happening right now that everybody's talking about, so I figure it was, you know. All right, so now I'm going back in with my Moda Pro brush and just lightly going over the edges of the smokiness just to really blend. So this is so far what we have. It's not as smoky as I had expected it to be actually. I really kind of want to put a little bit more of this deep shade in my crease. Like just in the outer corner. Guys, I've been watching Gossip Girl non-stop. And I'm not even ashamed of it. Now we're going into this deep shimmer shade right here. It's, um, this is just going to go all over my lid. Yes. Okay, so that is there. I'm going to take this small brush again and just really go into the crease and just try to blend it together a little bit. See why I did my foundation and stuff last. As you can see, this is a pretty dark, smoky eye. It's nothing like too, too crazy. Like, it's not as dark, honestly, as I'd expected it to be, um, but it is still pretty dark. 
So I'm going in with my foundation now. In the fall time, this is kind of going into like my skincare, I guess. But in the fall time, obviously it's getting colder, which this isn't so much so as like in the winter, but I really like to use lots of hydrating and luminizing primers and just like dewy foundations and not super mattifying products just because my skin is obviously going to be super dry because of how cold it is outside. Today I'm going in with my Bare Minerals Made to Fit foundation and this is a natural dewy like type of foundation and it's not very heavy either as you can see from this going on my face it is very like dewy it's not it's not matte really it just looks like skin i love this foundation and you know what i forgot to do my freaking brows how do you forget to do your brows usually i do my brows first actually but it's okay i'll do it off camera later now I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Concealer. This is just always what I use. You guys know that. I'm not really going to brighten a whole lot just because I don't feel like I need too much. Um, just probably my under eyes today. Now I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to set my face here. I'm going to use the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder in the brightening shade. I'm actually going to take a brush today, not a sponge to set. And I'm just, I set under my eye and then I'm kind of just bringing it downwards all over my cheek area. Just really setting that. And then we're going to take the other side. And I'm going to hop back into this palette and I'm just going to do the lower lash line. I'm not planning on doing too much with this today. And just kind of running that under the bottom lash line. Oh, I'm going to take this white shimmer shade right here. And it's going to go on my inner corner. Honestly, I might not do my brows today. Like, honestly, I'm not doing anything today. I'm just filming another video after this. And then I'm probably going to take this makeup off, honestly. Ugh, I always feel bad, like, saying that. But Okay, so now I'm taking my AOA Studio Liner. And I'm just going to line my... I'm just going to leave it like this. And put on some mascara. Okay, so I did some mascara. I am going to put on some lashes. I think I'm going to just do... These are the House of Lashes ones. Um... So I'm going to put the glue on and then I'm going to let them set out to dry up a little bit and then I'll be right back to finish off the face. Okay, I'm going in with my Fiona Styles um, bronzer. In the winter time, I tend to get really pale. I mean, in the summertime, I'm really pale. So I don't like to use super dark bronzers because it's really going to contrast with my pale skin and it just looks really unnatural so fiona styles is like a pretty natural bronzer if you ask me it's really light for us fair-skinned people this is in a hiko um it's the bronzing sun veil so i'm going in with ofra cosmetics rodeo drive highlighter right here beautiful this is such a nice highlight and this is just going on the tops of my cheekbones. Such a blinding highlighter. It's so nice. Which, in the summertime, I love a glowy look. But in the wintertime, with, like, dramatic makeup, I love a glowy look. I'm going to try to stick on my lashes, and I'll be right back. I don't know if I like these lashes or not. I can't decide. Like, they're really different. Like, I don't usually wear lashes like this at all. Honestly, I don't usually wear lashes. But these are very separated and wispy and they have like really long parts and then really short parts but they go so well with like this dark smoky eye it's not even funny so my lashes are on um i'm gonna pick a lippy and then we're done i don't know what lipstick i'm gonna go with today um hmm. i was taking too long picking out a lipstick <laughs> my camera cut off so i chose um this is by smashbox this is called straight up 
and I broke the tip of it. Don't talk about it, all right? I should probably use the lip liner, but it's okay. So this is my first time ever wearing this lipstick on, and this is my first time also ever trying Smashbox lipsticks, and I don't really think I like it. <laughs> like, if I'm just being honest with you, it doesn't look all that great. Like, it is it is shiny. It does go with my look. Maybe should have used the lip liner, but it's just not my favorite formula. It's really messy to work with. Um, I don't know, but... Whatever, I'm just going to keep it on. This is what we're working with. Um, again, I don't know how much I like these lashes. They are really weird, really different, interesting, cool. Um, but this is the my first fall look. Other than the lipstick, I do like the look overall. Um, my lashes are stabbing the inside of my eye because I clearly don't know what I'm doing. This is my first fall look. It's a really simple look. I thought that I would bring you that first before jumping into some crazy dramatic looks. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you guys subscribe before you leave. And I'll just catch you guys in my next video. Bye!